Hey guys, Chris here, aka Warchild V1, back with some more things that you shouldn't do in a manual transmission car. The first thing I can think of right now that I haven't already mentioned in the previous video is when you're sitting at a red light on a hill, don't use your clutch to balance your car right there. Um, I've actually had some people in comments say that that's what they do. I use my clutch to balance when I am on a hill at a red light. Um, that's really bad for your clutch. You're going to have a lot of excessive wear for really no reason at all. Um, pretty much, you just want to use your brakes. That's what your brakes are for. Use your brakes, seriously. Just use them. That's what they're there for. Another one is when you're cruising down the road or even sitting at a light or anything, don't use the clutch pedal as a footrest. Um, for one, if you, if you rest your foot too hard, then you're going to really be wearing the clutch. But that's not the most likely thing. It's just really not good for the pressure plate because it... It's got a bunch of little springs that are like fingers and when you rest your foot on it, they push in a little bit. When you press the clutch, they press in more and it releases the clutch. But you don't, you don't want to sit there and always be wearing on those springs because eventually you're going to get a lot more play in your pedal and that's just, you're not going to have a good time, okay? So when you're slowing down to a stop, no matter if you're going 60 or if you're going 20 or if you're going... I don't know, 100. Don't use your clutch to slow down. Don't downshift if you're coming to a stop. It's pointless to sit there and wom, wom, wom. It's, it's, I don't even know. They, you're just putting way too much strain on the clutch when you could have just used your brakes. That's what brakes are for. And brakes are a lot cheaper than a clutch brakes are a hell of a lot cheaper than a clutch so you don't want to sit there and wham, wham, down to a stop when you're when you're slowing down if you're going to come to a stop just just stop use your brakes that's what they're there for sorry i'm over here driving and talking and it's kind of messing up my driving <laughs> another thing to talk about would be when you're slowing down if you do need to downshift because you're not coming to a stop it's really best for you to rev match um, it's not completely necessary to rev match but rev matching will prolong the life of your clutch do i do it every time hell no do i enjoy doing it yeah it's actually pretty fun um, once you know what gear ratios your car has for example if i'm going 40 i only need to pop it up to 4,000 rpms to put it in second rev match it that way the clutch isn't riding the rpms back up that just that adds excessive wear there's no real reason for it <laughs> no real reason for it i'm sorry my wording is so bad right now just gonna prolong the life like i said and yeah i don't do it every time i'm sure not everyone does it all the time but it is way better for your clutch for you to rev match than to not so for example we're coming up on a street and we want to slow down and turn so rev match up to where the next the second gear would be slow down with your brakes and then turn it's it's just way better than letting the rpms ride it up there um, i guess that's more of an advanced technique than than like if you were just learning to drive a, a manual maybe you don't want to jack with all that extra stuff and i wouldn't blame you but it's something that's better for the car i don't do it all the time but i do it because i enjoy it and i do it when i think about it <laughs> i love driving manual transmission to each their own right another thing that you may want to think about getting yourself out of the habit of if you do it i don't know I was reading in the comments and someone in there says that they've gotten in the habit of starting off in second gear every time. So let's come to a stop. They're used to, instead of putting it in first gear and then rolling off, 
they're used to putting it in second gear and rolling off now it can be done and it can be done quite easily but you are most likely gonna wear the clutch a little more um, just because it takes that little bit of extra but you know what it can't be the worst I mean is putting it in second actually worse than starting off in first and then shift into second are you using the clutch more than that I don't know so you know what we may need to scratch that one I would think that that wouldn't be the best of scenarios especially if you're on a hill or something of that sort then it'd probably be way better to start in first because you'd be riding the clutch a little longer and uh, there are a lot of people walking around with Bibles in their hands today you know it is Sunday it is Sunday I guess they're going and preaching the good word to the neighbors another thing I can think of it may be the last one or I may think of something else in the meantime but another thing I can think of is when you're at a stop and you want to take off you know you want to launch the car you want to drop the clutch dropping the clutch isn't exactly good for it is that gonna stop anyone from doing it hell no it's not um, that is not really good for the car you got this perfect balance you can rev it up and drop the clutch and go but if you don't do it just right for one if you take too long to let off the clutch pedal you're gonna burn your clutch and then you're gonna smell it so if you let off too slow that's gonna happen you let off too fast you're putting a ton of strain on all sorts of internals um, your input shaft just everything everything's taking a lot of extra strain if you just drop it too fast so there's a real fine balance in dropping the clutch and for a lot of people it might not be that good for your clutch um, if you do it just right I don't see how it could be the worst but it's another thing that you may not want to do all the time I guess another would be don't treat the clutch like an on off button um, when you're shifting from say second to third don't just let off the clutch like it was a button um, or first to second or anything don't just let off the clutch as if it were a button unless you did rev match if you rev matched and you know that you're right on target for where those RPM should be then I guess it wouldn't be that bad to treat it as a button instead of a um, instead of a variable pedal uh, I, I guess you know I guess that would be the only time I could think of that using the clutch as a button wouldn't be that big of a deal but hey guys that's about it for what I have on more things that you shouldn't do in a manual if I can come up with more I'll make another video um, we'll see how many of these we end up coming out with now some of them are a little nitpicky and I apologize that's just that's kind of how it is things that you shouldn't do in a manual and I've had people ask me in the comments what kind of phone mount this is this is an iPhone 6 plus it fits on here perfectly it fits that way that way whatever way you want I just uh, I usually either keep it sideways which would block my air vent or vertical which wouldn't block my vent um, this is called the MPOW MPOW I got it on Amazon it was actually really cheap I uh, got it for like $20. It is a, a strong magnet that clips to your air vent. And then behind my case is just a little metal plate. You're supposed to stick it to the phone, but I just kind of stuck it between my case and my phone. It's not stuck to anything. It's just kind of in between there. And it holds strong enough that I go over bumps, I floor it, any of that stuff. And the phone doesn't fall. It's quite nice. I'd say that's about it for this video guys I can't think of any more off the top of my head um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope maybe it helps someone out and leave a comment below let me know what you think and in the meantime it has been a really long time since I've uh, done a walk around on this car this car has no performance mods it is a stock 2016 WRX um, it's not like a beast it's a fun car to drive that's about it i enjoy it it gets good gas mileage all that stuff
I figure I'll do a quick walk around on it to show you all the little things I've done now that I'm pretty much happy with the outside. Other than I would love some coilovers, drop it like maybe a half inch or so, tuck those wheels in a little more. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's looking like right now. Uh, now that I've finished painting the headlights, putting overlays on the tail lights, changing out my tail to turn, adding LEDs in the headlights, adding, you know, painting different emblems, painting the sides, and then putting white inlays. I'll just show you. How's that? All right, guys, like I said, it is literally just a stock WRX. Um, I've added, I've painted this all black and then added white inlays, added a little decal here that just makes the vents pop a little more. Um, nothing else on the side the back i redded out my tail lights because i think they look way better than the white that used to be right here and i made a video of that painted the emblems this is a decal on the badge plus i painted the outside of it um, just to make it a little prettier i got rid of all the chrome basically i dechromed the whole car that's pretty much all that i've done um, I, I changed my tail turn signals to I use my tail lights as the turn and around the front painted the headlights made a video on that took them apart painted the inside added LED strips in there and painted the stupid bottom of my bumper but I like it so whatever so one thing that I've had people ask me since I painted the headlights is well doesn't that mean that you're not going to get as good of visibility on the road because you painted everything black well if you look inside there it's dirty with bugs and all that there is shiny chrome around where the bulb is only around the bulb that's actually a separate piece it unbolts um, I unbolted that that chrome piece in there before I painted everything so no that didn't mess with that so that's about it there's nothing to show off on this car like I said zero performance mods this is literally just I wanted to make it a little pretty. I need to add some window tint. My problem is I have dogs and they drool all over my windows and I won't be able to take the dogs anywhere when, uh, when I get my windows tinted, at least for a little while. But that's about all I got, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stick around. I'll see you guys for the next one. So please comment, like, and sub if you haven't, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.